Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today, I think it's gonna be so funny. I'm gonna talk about hate, just like in general. Not like, I feel like everyone hates me. Like it's not gonna be like one of those things. It's like the funny side of hate. Uh, last night, Tommy Lauren, 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 she um, quote tweet, she like replied to like one of my tweets and then I just got like a slew of like weird mean comments and they literally were just so vague and hateful that I think it's kind of funny. I've been dealing with like hateful comments for like a long time, even since like, like since Vine. So I think it's kind of funny to just, I think hate is so funny sometimes. Me like kind of laugh and like not take hate very seriously is I used to work in the service industry, not just like waitressing, but like customer service and uh, community management, which is like a type of social media management where you reply to people who are mad online. Like people who, if you tweet at a business, like some, my food was cold, I didn't like it, I returned the food or something, someone has to reply to you and that's a community manager. I used to work at this place, I used to live in this beach town and I worked at this hotel in this beach town and people would come to this hotel tell for spring break like college students and college students would leave a fucking mess everywhere it was my job to like look at reviews on this hotel's website or like Facebook page and you reply to everyone like if they give you a five-star review you're like thank you so much for coming like we really enjoyed your you staying here and then if there was like a one-star review we'd be like oh my gosh I'm so sorry like blah 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 please come back again we'll make sure this like doesn't happen again there was this one one-star review that just gets me every time it was one star and then it was like, we stayed here for spring break, would not come back. The sheets were dirty, and I got maced. And I was like, holy shit, the sheets were dirty? No, I was like, holy fuck, you got maced? So I replied, I was like, I'm so sorry, did you like contact the front desk? Was it someone at the hotel who maced you? And they said, no, no, it was my friend. Uh, did you go to the hospital? Did you call the police? You know, we could have, you know, moved you to a different room if that was a problem. He said, no, didn't go to the hospital, didn't call the police because he's my friend. Didn't go to the front desk to get a different room. And I, so I was like, why would you leave a one-star review? And he's like, I got maced here. And I was like, but that wasn't, the hotel didn't mace you. That's how people are online. This guy who did not, did nothing to remedy his situation, he just wanted to complain afterwards. You know, he didn't go to the hospital. He didn't call 911. He didn't call the front desk to get moved. All three things would have helped him to like feel some sort of peace of mind. But that's exactly how people are online. Is that when people leave a nasty comment for you, this literally not about you. It's literally because they're fucking idiots. You know, like, or they're projecting something. Every person who comments some bad shit on your post, unless it's like constructive, they're, they're probably, it's just probably something going on with them. Oh yeah, so Tommy Lauren. So Tommy Lauren tweeted at me, not tweeted at me. Yesterday I tweeted, um, if we could stop retweeting that curly haired girl with the gun, I feel like it's only making her more popular and I don't know, we already reached our quota of talentless, talentless famous people. And I'm not gonna like say her name, I'm just gonna fill up DeFranco it and like paint a general picture of who the person I'm talking about is. So Tommy Laren quote retweeted me and said, that curly haired girl's name is blank and she has more strength and class in her pinky finger than you do in your entire body. Take notes. Alright, I'll take some notes. What's crazy is that I never said this girl had no class. I said she didn't have any talent. But Tommy said, this girl has more strength and class in her pinky finger than you do in your entire body. The thing is, is I looked it up, are talent and class synonyms. Flair, aptitude, facility, gift, knack, technique, touch, bent, ability, expertise, capacity, faculty, strength, forte, genius, brilliance, dexterity, skill, and artistry. Class and talent are not synonyms. The fact that I said the girl has no talent and Tommy said she has a lot of class, that's like if I said, your mom is fat and you said, hey, she's got a cute face. It's like you didn't defend your mom. If anything, you just like deflected and you're like in your mind, you're kind of like, yeah, she is. I was like, what the fuck? Why is that? That's just like hateful and like so weird. One of my favorite, so hateful comments like literally don't mean shit because they're like, 
have any creativity. You know, someone's like, oh, you're an asshole. It's like, you're not wrong. Or like, you wear a lot of makeup, which is not an insult. It's just like a fact. There was this one uh, Reddit post where it said like, um, it had a picture of me without makeup and then me with makeup. And it's like, makeup is a lie. And I was like, okay, what idiot is looking at me with a lot of makeup on and thinking the, the pink lipstick, that's what a weird, like that's not, that's not your natural lip color or like my eyes, they're like, you don't naturally have like black all around your eyes. That's so fucking weird. I just think it's so funny that some people are like, she looks different without makeup on. If you had a like a tan car and then you got it painted red and someone's like, <laughs> your buddy, your car looks different when it's a different color. Like that's so fucking, like it's of course it fucking does. That's the whole point of painting it, to make it different. Oh my God. So my favorite hate comment of all time is something really creative. Some of my favorite comments in like the history of me being on the internet have been hateful. Bullying sometimes is effective because when I first started on Vine, everyone told me my eyebrows were fucking ugly or like they were like, eyebrows are disgusting. Your eyebrow look, eyebrows look like sperm. And so after a while, I got the hint <laughs> and just started doing my eyebrows. One of my favorite hateful comments, it's just actually my favorite comment of all time. This is the only comment I remember from Vine. Someone said to me, Sarah, I hate to break it to you, but you have the vacant stare of a mule. I read it again, it said, Sarah, I hate to break it to you, but you have the vacant stare of a mule. And I, it was just so weird. It would, but it was like a good weird. I, I like, it fucked me up so much. Today I went to the zoo because I wanted to see what he meant, you know? But unfortunately at my zoo, there's no uh, mules, there's only goats. So um, I'm just gonna insert like a little video of the goats. I was like sweating my balls off. See, uh, that's, that's when like a hate comment is memorable. No one fucking remembers that time that you called someone fat. Like you just like you just blend in with the crowd, but the vacant stare of a mule is just so it's like beautiful. That's like creative writing shit. So to wrap this up, I'm gonna actually read a really hateful comment I got one time that I think you guys. This was on my first YouTube video ever. This is the most hateful thing I've ever read, and it's honestly the funniest thing I've ever fucking read in my entire life. Oh my god, no one cares about Vine. That shit app died and none of you had talent anyway. You are so insanely fat, big ass gut, and you claim to have an eating disorder. Yeah, maybe saying too much food and not working out. Also, that is an eating disorder when you eat too much. Also, you think you are smart and funny? You aren't. You are what every typical college grad with future becomes. Okay, Yoda. What the fuck? You are what every typical college grad with future becomes. Why would you write it like that? You are, it's like, it's like a Jedi thing. Your popular life is over. That's not a lie. You are used up hoe from a sorority and you think you are hot shit when in reality you aren't anything. You aren't funny. This video sucks. Your 15 minutes are up. Being a sarcastic cunt doesn't mean you have talent. Uh, Tommy Lahren would beg to differ. Pick a fuck. This is where this 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 like this is where I fell off. Pick a fucking hair color and stick with it. Pick a fucking hair color and stick with it. Like it's like I've only been blonde and red, and I was blonde two years ago. So the fact that you stuck around since I was blonde, you like me. You aren't awesome for quitting smoking. You should have never smoked in the first place. Weak willed, weak mind, weak ass poser. Weak ass poser. Are you like 45 years old? Yes, I am awesome. Vine is dead, give it up. Welcome to YouTube and best wishes trying to find dates on Tinder. Thank you. Also, we know your eyebrows are fake as fuck. You guys bullied me into making them fake as fuck. <laughs> but I love them. Let me just wrap this up. Hate can be really funny. And I know that people are gonna take this very seriously and comment down below like, Sarah, don't get sad. This girl means nothing to you, Tommy. Like, it's like, it's like, it's not like that, you know? Remember, every, when people make mean comments about you, it's not you. All right, guys, so that's it. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Follow me on Twitter just so you can see Tommy Lahren's, like, yeah. I think she posted on her Instagram story, too. Subscribe to me on YouTube uh, if you want to. It's really up to you at this point. But I put out videos every Sunday. I think I might put a video out this Thursday just because I have Wednesday off for 4th of July. Yeah. And uh, see you next time.